I think that there is a definite air of that in this season. Julie put it very simply to me, she said, you know, he tried everything. The guy tried everything. He tried to be the romantic, he tried to be the big brother, he tried to help everything. No one listened to him and everything went to shit. It all went wrong. So he's now saying, okay, you know what? I tried, I did everything I could, none of you listened to me, it didn't work. Screw you. And now the world has one more quarterback. Bravo, brother. The way we commonly like to refer to it is GFY. I think Damon's definitely key to her understanding a lot of what's, gonna, what's going on in the transition. You know, they're very biased. Stefan is the altruistic, alternative method guy who, you know, don't harm anything, you know, don't kill anything. Um, the deer will be okay. Bunnies, I'm sure you probably just kind of... But they're bunnies, and not that they're any less human, I mean, you know, creatures, but it's easy just, you know... Oh, that's sick. I love bunnies. And then Damon is definitely more of the the raw, instinctual, you kill shit and you eat it. That's what you do. And if you don't embrace that, it's going to be very, very difficult for you in this whole transition. And I think if she can listen to both of them and sort of take what she needs from each one of them, she's probably going to be able to, you know, and then add her own, you know, layer in her own sort of uh, applied science, it's gonna work a lot better for her. It really was not the best decision. And even from a story point, we as the actors said, wait, really, that he's just gonna save Matt? I mean, it, it's just, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, but he was doing as she, she wanted. But it really makes no sense to Damon, and it's just the dumbest thing, and he's gonna be, he's very angry about it. So, we'll figure it, he'll, time will, We'll get over it.